Welcome back to my channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about treats for the sweet tooth. Today, I'm going to talk about Walnettos. Walnettos were introduced in 1919 by J.N. Collins Company in Minnesota. Currently, they're now made by Walnettos Incorporated here in California. What's a Walnetto? It's a chewy walnut caramel. And you know what? Hold up. I live in a town that's surrounded by walnuts. Walnuts grew in front of my house, still grow there. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you the life cycle of the walnut from flower to walnut. The walnut tree wakes up from being dormant over winter in April. And here is a picture of the male pollen blossoming. For most fruit trees, the male pollen and the female ovary are within the same flower. But for the walnuts, they're located on separate parts of the branch. In this picture here, you can see the female flower and the little bud where the walnut is going to grow. And next to it, this is by May already, you can already see that the male blossom is already shriveling up and dying. From May to August, the walnut is going to grow inside its hull or husk. Yeah, that's where the walnut is in that little green thing. It's protected. By September, you start to see a little bit of cracks on the hull, revealing a little bit of the walnut. By October, the husk hull has already peeled back, revealing the walnut. In October, the shakers roll in. Yeah, that thing with the arms grabs the trunk of the tree or a branch and shakes the walnuts free. It's a six month process to get this little guy right here. Here's the walnut and inside is the edible meat. Let me crack it. So here's the inside of the walnut and here's a little piece of the meat that broke out. <laughs> yeah, walnut flavor and very dry. For you walnut enthusiasts out there, it's a Persian English walnut, and it's of the variety of the Chandler variety. There we go. Just in case you wanted to know. Okay, so here's the walnetto. Let me tell you, if it's a candy I've never had before, I try not to see too much of what the candy looks like and what it has, like the actual thing. So I can be surprised when I see it. So, I thought it was like a car caramelized walnut, but it has like little chunks of walnut in it. So... Interesting. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm not sure if the caramel itself has walnut in it. I maybe should have investigated that a little more. But it does taste like walnut and caramel fused together. And yeah, there's little crunchy parts of the walnut in it. So that's pretty cool. There you go. It's a nice little square. So if you like caramel, yeah, I taste a good, like a good caramel flavor. And if you like caramel and walnuts, then hey, give this guy a try. I'll have linked in the description a more detailed video I found on the life cycle of the walnut, in case you want to watch it. And also those noises you're hearing, we're right now wrapping up the fudge and the pecan logs because all our chocolates came in, like the cashew clusters, the peanut clusters, the honeycomb, the toffee. So if you're in the area, Come to the candy store, they're in. Thank you for watching this week's video of The Candy Guy. Links for the Penny Candy Store and myself will all be in the description below this video. I post videos every Friday. So I shall see you all next Friday. Have a sweet day. Bye. It's currently fall, so the leaves on the tree, like this for the walnuts, are changing color and falling off into these guys. It's a little dirty because it rained yesterday or a couple days ago. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs>